these videos are educational in nature and are designed to help people over 21 who smoke cigarettes switch to a less harmful alternative. <clears throat> All right. Well, what's up, everybody? It's Grim Green back here. And today we're taking a look at the Argus P1S pod system from freaking Vupu. Look, I've said this before and I'll say it again just for everybody else. I'm ge I generally like the Argus brand from Vupu. When I see the Argus, I go, hey, look, there's something right there in that Argus that I might like. This is essentially the same Argus pods we've kind of already had in the past, but that means that this is compatible with all of the Argus past and current pods as well. Compatibility. I like that a lot of companies are doing this compatibility thing now. Flavor still maintaining really well on these pods. And look, the thing's not perfect, but what it is, is really just very nice and reliable. It's got an internal 800 ma battery, which I'm going to put a little bit of a question mark on that 800 ma. Not that I'm accusing Vupu of, you know, not being honest with the milliamp hour of their batteries, but using this 800 ma pod in conjunction with a 900 ma pod has made me skeptical that this is a true 800 ma pod or milliamp hour battery. It feels to me just completely anecdotally after like, what has it been? Four weeks of use. It feels a little bit more to me like it's in like the six to 650 range. It's always the first to die. And despite that, I still really like this battery. I like the hand feel of it. It's a nice sleek size. I like the stylings of it. I They're calling it like cyberpunky or something like that. And I feel like a weird out of touch old person, but it's whatever. I like the stylings of it. And I really, really, there's a part of me that really enjoys this battery level indicator, like flux capacitor looking LEDs. It's objectively pretty dorky, but I just think it looks cool and really speaks to like the sci-fi nerd in me. There's never a question as to where my battery is with this. It'll change colors, but them lighting up in one, two, three, full, medium, empty, it, it's really clearly apparent where my battery is. And man, I just appreciate that after so much like little tiny dot reading on other pods. Charges via USB-C on the bottom and there's two sort of air inlet holes on the side of the battery that are completely non-adjustable. The 1.2 ohm pod has a slightly tighter mouth to lung than the 0.7 ohm pod, but it's it's kind of like a barely noticeable thing in my opinion. I would describe the airflow as like, uh, a, a medium loose mouth to lung. It's smooth. It's nice. It's very even. It's honestly not all that dissimilar from like other fixed airflow prods, like, you know, the cross three mini or the Caliburn. It feels very smooth and medium like that. I don't know that anybody else cares, but this does have the ability to be hands-free, which is important to me. And you can kind of tell by looking at all of the bite marks on this you know, mouthpiece, I have been using it excessively hands-free. It really does lend itself to that, not just because of the shape of the taper of the tip, but also because of like, you know, the lightweight aluminum body of this. As much as I dig this battery, despite me being skeptical of that 800 ma claim, what this really comes down to is the performance of the Argus pods, in my opinion. If the pods aren't satisfying, you know, then what's the point? Thankfully, these Argus pods, I've said this in the past, they're very flavorful. They start off so crispy, so crackly, so flavorful. And because I've been using this, like I said, in tandem with another pod that has a puff counter on it, I know that I'm getting to like the 1800-ish, maybe even 2000-ish puff on this 0.7 ohm coil. Previously, I was using the 1.2 ohm coil, and this is right around the same puff count that it started to deteriorating and all like all pods I've ever had sort of deteriorate differently. Sometimes it's just really very sudden. Sometimes there's like a clear turning point where it starts being like negative and you can feel it going down. And sometimes, sometimes like in the case of this Argus pods, it's so obscenely slow and gradual that you, you kind of don't notice that it's happening. And I think that's kind of a good thing. I knew my 1.2 ohm pod was dead and done for when it started tasting like cardboard and started getting a little bit gurgly on me. I thought, nope, this is done. This is dead. The flavor was still pretty good, I thought. Then I put a new 0.7 pod on. 
there's that flavor. It, it was declined so gradually, I didn't even really notice until I got that new pod on there. So I can kind of sense maybe a little bit that I'm getting towards the end of the life of the pod, but my brain doesn't know it because I still taste the good flavor and I still get the good crackle. How is the Argus P1S pods just playing like this psychological flavor game with me? I think I say this about all of the Argus pods, but there is a lot to love here. This pod still suffers from that Argus pod thing of having it wobble and wiggle slightly inside the battery. It's not something that's going to like ruin my vaping experience, but when I'm vaping it and it's hands-free in my mouth, it's something I can kind of feel. And I just wish that these were a little bit more secure and I kind of wish you know, again, I don't want to be accusatory. This just doesn't feel like an 800 mAh battery to me. Completely anecdotally doesn't feel like an 800 mAh battery to me. And I think that is what's going to land this Argus P1S in that still, you know, very respectable, like seven and a half banana sticker territory. I don't think any of the Argus pods in years past have cracked like the top five on my pod rankings, and certainly none of them have ended up in the Hall of Fame. But despite that, I think they vape good. I think they're crispy, flavorful, convenient. I, I like these Argus pods. I mean, of course they're convenient. It's a pod. I didn't mean to say convenient. I meant to say reliable. No, I'm just sitting here vaping now. So I think that means I've made my peace here with the Vupu Argus P1S pod. I can't tell you exactly where to get these or exactly how much they cost, but I've seen them sub $20. So that's nothing to blow your nose at. No real super vape budget hands needed there. And, you know, maybe just skip that next pack of cigarettes. Listen, here's the thing. If you are currently a cigarette smoking person, it's 2024. It's going to be soon. It's time to make the switch. Better living through science, better living through technology. There's a world of safer nicotine products out on the market. Yeah. In the description of this video, I'm going to put links to just science and just education. This has been a Grim Green video. Let's stay cigarette smoke free literally every single day. <laughs> it's like 10.30 and I'm uh, just gonna smoke, so 